Oh my gosh, honestly, one of my personal favorites, Matt Riddle. We could just keep spinning if you want. I like it. Keep on spinning. I like it. So what's up? What's up, bro? What are we doing here? We are talking about For the Love of Wrestling. Now, you've been signing at the autograph area. You've been meeting and greeting all of the amazing fans in Manchester. How have they been treating you, Matt Riddle? You know, uh, Manchester's been treating the bro pretty well. Dev definitely better than the first time I came to Manchester. Oh. The first time I came here, I was fighting in the UFC, and some of the fans spit on me and called me a bunch of nasty names. Oh, no. But none of that's happened this time, so. No, no. so it's improved. It's improved greatly. Well, thank goodness. <laughs> Manchester got it together. Now I have to say, so we are here at For the Love of Wrestling, presented by Monopoly Events, but we are also inside a progress wrestling ring. And you, my friend, you, my bro, are a two-time progress wrestling Atlas champion. Can we talk about, yes, yes, applause for that. This bro, can you talk about your time in progress, any memories you have? Uh, yeah, uh, I wrestled at Progress quite a bit. It was probably my second home uh, to Evolve. Evolve yeah. was my, we, that's where we met at Evolve. Yes. You know, so uh, Progress was my second home, and uh, the Atlas Championship definitely means a lot to me, you know. It was probably the first title that I brought everywhere around the world with me. I brought it to China. I brought it to Australia. I mean, j j anywhere. I brought that title everywhere and defended it everywhere. But, uh, yeah, Progress is awesome. It is. Big, big fan. Yeah, you're a fighting champion. That's very cool. Now, our current Progress Wrestling Atlas champion, Ricky Knight Jr., part of the Knight Dynasty. I knew I, I knew you guys would love that, mentioning RKJ, Ricky Knight Jr. What would it be like to face off 2024, Matt Riddle versus RKJ? I mean, for me, that would be a dream match, but what do you think? You know, RKJ against the King of Bros for the Atlas Championship in progress sounds pretty good to me. Is it gonna happen? I don't know. You know, I, I can't tell the future. You Do know? we wanna see it, guys? Yes. I mean, why not? I'm why buying not? a ticket. Yeah. But you had some amazing matches in progress wrestling with uh, Gunther, Gunther, Walter. Walter. What was it like working with him? Uh, it's good, you know, he hits hard, he's big. It's and huge. when guys are that big, I feel entitled to hit them hard and yeah. lay into them. So uh, <laughs> it always made for a good match. Yes. He's an amazing athlete. I have to ask you about your time. You just mentioned Evolve Wrestling. So that's where we met. Evolve Wrestling also uh, sort of collaborated with uh, Full Impact Pro, Sal and Gabe. What was your time in Evolve like? I mean, who, who, do you have any favorite memories or matches? Because you had some great ones in Evolve Wrestling. Yeah, you know, uh, I wrestled Will Ospreay in Evolve yeah. and had quite a barn burner with him. Uh, Timothy Thatcher. If any of you know Timothy Thatcher, yes, he's, him a he's whole got bunch. British roots, Tim and, Thatcher. And, yeah. is it, and he's a sweetheart. You know, oh, Tim, Timmy, he looks mean, but Tim Thatcher, what a sweet guy. The best, the yes, best. for sure. The best. Yes. And a great athlete. Now, speaking of great athletes that are sweethearts, listen, you've had a great career. There's so many career highlights that I could talk about, but I have to ask you about your time with R not RKJ, RKO, Randy Orton. The other bro, what is it like working with Randy Orton? I mean, he's such a talent. He's so, you know, technically gifted, third-generation superstar. But what is he like to work with behind the scenes? Yeah, I mean, for me, it was cool. I mean, me and Randy are buddies. So it was just like going to work and your best friend's working with you, so that's awesome. And not only are you working together, you're teaming together. Not only are you just teaming together, you're one of the best tag teams in the world, and the crowds love you, and it's great. Yeah. It was awesome. And then also working with Randy, you just learn a lot from yeah. Randy just because he has a wealth of knowledge. He's a generational superstar. There's a lot of things I don't have that he has, you yeah. know. Also, I would say there's a lot of things I have that he doesn't have either. Right. You know, but working with Randy was awesome. Yeah. Was, was the chemistry there right away? Because when, when you see you guys working together, it seems like you're so cohesive. But was the chemistry there right away, or was it something that you guys kind of worked on together? I would say our personal chemistry wasn't there right away. But in the ring, the chemistry was there yeah. right away. We worked once, and he was like, I want to work this guy as often as I can or do something with him. And then 
RK Bro was kind of born the following week and etc. Yeah. He's an amazing athlete and obviously WWE has some amazing superstars. I have to ask you though, you know, we're all fans of wrestling here. We're here for the love of wrestling. Who stood out to you in terms of wrestling superstars that you really wanted to either emulate or that you looked up to as far as inspiration? For me, it was Kurt Angle. Kurt Angle and Rob Van Dam. I would say those, you, you merge them together, you get me. You yeah. know, I got the submission background, the wrestling background like Kurt, and then I do flips and tricks and kicks like Rob, so. What was it like to, I'm sure you've met both of them before, and they're both really, really nice guys. What was it like to meet them, meet your heroes? Well, well the first time I met Rob Van Dam was uh, at the Playboy Mansion. Oh my God. Yeah, and uh, I met Rob, we were, I was in the grotto. Oh no, oh this is getting, right? this is getting salacious. I was in the grotto, and you know, we, it was a legalized cannabis party. Oh. So we were all there. And all of a sudden, I'm in the grotto, and I see Rob Van Dam walking. No way. And I'm like, no way. Rob Van Dam. And, of course, Rob looks at me. I don't think he knows who I am. I just got off the Ultimate Fighter. And he goes, you're Matt Riddle, that fighter dude. And I'm like, no way. You know who I am? And then we hung out, partaked, sure. and, uh, had fun. Had fun. You know, me and Rob, first time we met, Playboy Mansion story. There you go. I, I love that his impression of Rob was him saying, you're that fighter dude. That's you're totally that, Rob. You're that fighter dude, Matt Riddle. And That's like, total yeah. Riz, for sure, for sure. There's so many amazing superstars that I'm sure you've worked with, and those, Kurt Angle and RVD, are amazing. Have you ever been starstruck by a wrestler that you've met? Like, anyone that you met and you went, oh, my God, this is a big deal. I've never been starstruck by a pro wrestler. But, and I've only been starstruck once, but I think I was so starstruck, it just ruined me for the rest of my life. Oh, no. And it, I met the dude from, have you ever seen Home Alone 2? Yep. You know the older gentleman that owns the toy store? Yeah, you mean, you mean Duncan. Duncan, yes. Duncan, so, bro. I went to the pizzeria down the street, and I grew up in upstate New York, which is in the middle of nowhere. Like, nobody's there. And it's a snowy day, they canceled school, and my mom took me for pizza, and that dude's there for some reason. No. And I lose it. I lose it, I start crying, and I can't stop. The guy starts to feel bad, and I'm just crying. I'm like, oh, you're so cool, you know? Whatever. And then after that day, though, Never been starstruck again. Never, just, it was I, just dunk. I met The Rock. I was like, cool. what's up, Rock? Yeah, I met Listen. Rampage for You know, yeah. I met a bunch of fighter guys I looked yeah. up to. Oh, that's Listen, it. they don't own a toy chest. Dude, oh, Who yeah. cares? Home Alone 2. This is Duncan's, Duncan. this is Duncan's toy chest we're talking uh, about. Round of applause for Duncan's yeah. toy chest. You know, I asked that question a lot. Dun we, Duncan starstruck me. He ruined it for yeah. everybody Was he else. nice? Yo, he was oh, so sweet. God. He was trying to make did me he, feel better. I couldn't stop crying. Did he give you a turtle dove? No. I can't. I, if he would have, I would have just cried on it. If, if you guys know bad. that movie, and maybe these people are younger, they don't know that movie, but oh my God. The, the funny thing is, I love asking that question because we like to hear, because you're a celebrity to us, we like to hear if you mark out for somebody. But I never knew that it was going to be Duncan from Duncan's Toy Chest. That's yeah. hysterical. And then to think he ruined it for everybody else. I've never yeah. been starstruck. So How are you going to top that? I, I can meet the president. Care. Who cares? Whatever. Does he have a toy chest? He doesn't have a you doesn't matter. In Home Alone too. Just saying, bro. You weren't in Rookie of the Year. <laughs> I know all the movies. The, my, my day is made, I have to be honest. We'll get to the fan questions in one moment. I have one fangirl question for me. So, Matt Riddle, obviously, we have so many amazing superstars. You can see the names are all here. For this particular convention, for the love of wrestling in beautiful Manchester, who are you excited to see out of all the people that are here? Maybe a reunion or maybe meeting for the first time? Who was I excited to see? Well, to be fair, I know most of them. I've hung out with sure. a bunch of them a bunch of times. But I think the one I've never actually like really shook hands with or anything until recently was Ken Shamrock. Wow. You know, I've wrestled Dan Severin. You know, I've you know I've mixed it up with others that fight, but never with Ken. So it was nice to see Ken, and he looks great. He's a big deal. He's a, he's a he big deal. He does look great. 
He looks amazing. He must moisturize. He looks stronger than me, for he sure. He looks better than ever. Well, speaking of better than ever, Mr. Brooker, who also moisturizes, give it up for Chris Brooker, everybody. The hardest working man in pro wrestling. Uh, uh, I can't tell you how important good skin care is, obviously. Okay. Yeah. Um, let's find some questions we, for the bro. If bros. you have a question, raise your hand. We've got one right here from this lovely lady. But if you have a question, we'll just raise your hand, guys. Uh, just for the moment. Um, All this, the way this, from Romania. This is Marius. He's from Romania. Ozzy yeah. is now Bromania. Bromania. He's all the way from Romania. Romania, I like that. Go ahead. Bro, good to see you. First off, I want to say I'm so happy that you continue doing what you do best because I know you receive some type of criticism online and us fans are really supporting you and we're so happy for you. Yay. Okay. And uh, you talked about Randy, you talked about RVD. Speaking about RVD, do you prefer facing him or being on a tag team with him? And against who, if you, if you will be a tag team? Ooh. All right, so uh, I think with every good team, you got to fight first before you team up. So I would like to wrestle RVD before we team up. And I actually wrestle RVD next week. So wow. I'll be making that happen. So maybe we'll end up teaming up afterwards. And then if we were to team up, I would like to go against probably the Young Bucks. Yeah. If it was, yeah, if it was me and RVD against the Young Bucks, that's probably a really good match. So, yeah. So uh, this match against RVD, where's this happening, sir? Do you know which promotion? It's happening in a town in Ohio that I can't pronounce. Oh, Lord. Well, we'll all be there, obviously. But, we'll, we'll... Yeah, but it's, you know, if you look up Matthew Riddle versus RVD, it'll, yeah. it'll pop up. Pe people will find it. If they can't, it's that, on them. That's a, dream, that's a dream match. You versus, is this your first time wrestling RVD? First Very time. cool. Very cool. Look uh, it up on social media, guys. And we have a question. Hey, bro. Uh, Kit. Um, obviously, you've touched on Randy Orton and your partnership with him. I was really enjoying your tag team partnership with Drew. Um, what enjoyment did you get out of that? And is there any other tag teams that you've really enjoyed? Yeah, I, I enjoyed teaming up with Drew. You know, me and Drew get along quite, you know, quite nice. And uh, plus we wrestled a lot in Evolve as well together, you know, and uh, other places. So I really enjoyed it. And I, I liked where we were going with the Mick Riddle. You know, it was going to oh be Mick God. Riddle. We are going to make, you know. Usually this is how all my tag teams work, even with Pete Dunne, even with Randy, even with Drew. Usually they start off with, hey, we're going to have you two feud. We're going to turn one of you heel, and this is how we're going to do it. I feel like that's was the idea. They're eventually going to turn Drew heel against me. But I also know how my tag teams usually go. And what probably would have happened is people would have went crazy for McRiddle. And we would have sold enough merchandise where WWE would have kept us together. And we would be challenging the bloodline. I would have, that's what would probably happen. But uh, it didn't. You know. But I love Drew. Great question. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Lovely. I have, to, I have to fangirl for a second. Hang on. So you're mentioning the Mick Riddle. Have you had a Mick Griddle before? A Mick Riddle? Yes. Yeah. I'm but, talking about the tag team Mick yeah. Riddle. Yeah, but have you had a Mick Griddle before? A Mick Riddle, yeah. Yeah, with the little pockets of syrup. Yeah, with the Bro, syrup. they're so good. They're decent. I'm more of a savory guy. Oh. I like an English muffin. Murica. Go ahead. Those are not available here, so thank you for oh. rubbing that in. Yeah. <laughs> um, Breakfast wraps. You got other stuff. I, I'm coming to you in a second. So you touched on something I want to uh, mention because we talked about Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns has had probably less than ten wrestling matches in the last few years, and one of them was with you on SmackDown. I think you had one of his two or three SmackDown matches. What was that like? It was good. Uh, you know, I had a match with Roman. The guy, you know, he is the tribal chief. Yes. You know, you know. But uh, it was good, you know, uh, good learning experience. I was actually shocked he was willing to give me as much as he did because he didn't really have to. And uh, I think we had a really good match. You know, I'm pretty sure he should have stayed down after that RKO. 
But at the end of the day, you know, first time facing for the Universal Championship, and I almost beat Roman Reigns, not too shabby. Not too shabby. Not a bad day at work, huh? Not bad at not all. Not too shabby. We Pretty love Roman Reigns. Hey, Very buddy. Very healthy. Here we go. What's your name, sir? My name is Ross. What is your worst um, locker room experience in WWE? The worst locker room experience? Uh-oh. Um, well, I'll tell you what I think is the worst locker room experience. Well, usually when you go and we do house shows, the venues aren't as big. And a lot of times we're in one locker room with one bathroom. And then depending your who's on the show, you you know, like almost or maybe an Otis, they might blow that bathroom up and you're just stuck in the locker room smelling, you know, crap. So that's my, my worst locker room experience. Honestly, outside of that, I usually have fun in the locker room. It's a lot of camaraderie. We're all together having fun, watching tape. If somebody messes up, we laugh, you know. It's good times. It's like Botchamania for us, you know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're very well liked in the locker room. Yeah, yeah. for sure. The Great ruling, question. That could have gone a very harsh don't, way. Don't crap in the green room toilet. It's rude. It's terrible. It's good advice. We it's have good a question advice. here. Go ahead, my friend. What's your name first? Will. Will. Go ahead. Which move hurts the most? Ooh. Which move hurts the most? I've been... Well, I've been asked this question a couple times in my life, and I always have the same answer. So all moves hurt, right? It's not necessarily the move that hurts, it's who's doing the move to you, right? Like, if you punch me, it'll hurt. But if I punch you, it'll hurt a lot more, right? Same move, but mine hurts a little more than yours. But that's it. So... Uh, and if you want to go most painful, <clears throat> I would have to say probably almost. He's just so big. Everything he does hurts. It hurts. He's huge. He, huge dude. He is huge. He is a giant, a real life one. He's a huge. By, my, by my math, that was just me doing the maths of that. He's seven foot plus with his arms in the air. You're like 10 foot in the sky, oh my aren't God, you? Yeah. 10 foot in the sky, and then he usually slams you awkwardly on your head. He's a huge bro. Can I ask you if, if we're talking about, uh, great question by the way, thank you. Uh, if like, we're talking about what hurts and injuries and things like that, what injuries have you sustained as far as like m mixed martial arts and wrestling? Ooh, I've had multiple knee surgeries. I've had multiple hand surgeries. I've torn a lot of ligaments in my hand, just punching people and stuff. I got a plate in my hand. Uh, I've had my front teeth knocked out a couple times. Uh, cuts above my eyes and stuff like that, normal. I have a question for you as your friend, c concerned for your well-being and your health. And I say this in all sincerity. Ask my husband, we're watching wrestling, and I'm like, how do you wrestle without shoes? I'm so, honestly, I'm, I swear to you, I'm so worried for you. How do you wrestle without shoes and not hurt your feet? Well, the, it's feet, crazy. the feet are pretty well conditioned from years of wrestling barefoot and fighting barefoot. But uh, I actually don't wear shoes when I wrestle because when I wear shoes, I make mistakes. It's almost really? like a layer of armor, and I feel like I can get away with more than I should. That's why I don't wear knee pads either or elbow pads or anything. I know. It's I, very scary I, to watch I, you without I, that. I do that because then I feel like my technique is basically perfect, and it has to be or I'll get injured. Yeah. So it makes me work smarter and better. So it's a mindset thing, yeah. But have you ever injured your feet or, like, I'm thinking about, like, your toenails? Like, No. Never. Oh, God. Never. Always not not wrestling. I've injured myself. That was honestly a personal question for me because I'm like, what's he doing? Is he going to be okay? So, sometimes if I dirt bike barefoot or in flip-flops, I'll bang up my feet a little bit. Yeah. But, yeah. But Perfect. I try not to dirt bike too often barefoot. Yeah. No shoes, bro. Yeah. Which mindset. Yeah. I'm always scared you're going to stub your toe on the ring steps. Honestly, that I know. That would suck. It worries me. <laughs> Pro. The pro is a pro, and we have a question. Good to go. Uh, what's your name, my friend? Lenny. And what's your question? Um, uh, what was the most painful experience against someone? What's most, your most painful, painful experience. experience. 
was probably the fight pit with Seth Rollins. And it wasn't me jumping off the top onto him. It was the RKO I gave him beforehand. When I hit the RKO, my like hip bone hit the steel bar on the floor. Just, I felt like I died. It really hurt. And then I had to jump off the cage afterwards, and I was really dreading that. So, most painful experience, dude. Yeah. Great question, thank you. We have time for one final fan question. No pressure. Ask anything you'd like. Let's make it a fun one for our final question for Matt Don't Riddle, run. Don't the ultimate run. bro. Here we go. Hello, sir. And uh, what's your name, my friend? Uh, Jack. Jack, go run ahead. Uh, we know you wrestle a very MMA style and you're a former UFC competitor and we know you've been at a few blood sports in the past, but who's your dream opponent to be fighting at a blood sport, the style of when, so with the so rules, if, the we're doing a sh if we're doing more of a combat sport, you know, a shoot style match, uh, favorite opponent or opponent I think would do really well, I personally think Dolph Ziggler. Oh wait, no, his name's not Dolph, it's Nick. Nick, I think Nick would be good. But there's also, you know, there's, there's a lot of other people too that fit like Kyle O'Reilly would be really good. He trains jiu-jitsu. His pro wrestling MMA is extremely good, but I think he would do very well in a shoot-style match like Bloodsport, you know, which was originally mine. Yes, so, by the way. Josh Barnett took it from the bro, okay? <laughs> Great question. Well, you're, you're a fighting champion. You're, you're, you're a bro, let's face it. You're always up for a challenge. Progress Wrestling has Super Strong Style 16 coming up in May. Would you be up for the challenge? And if so, is there anyone from Brit Rest? I know you know the Indies so well. Anyone you'd want to face or any sort of like challenge you'd like to accept at Super Strong Style 16? You know, I'm still new. I'm, I'm back on the independent scene. I don't want to call anybody out yet. You know, I got to see how things are working these yeah, days. Yeah. But uh, Super Strong Style 16. Yeah, I mean, I've been a part of Strong Style for, you know, it's been years. Yeah. But before I got signed, I was, like, in all of them, like, the yeah. last three years of my independent career. Yeah. So, if given the opportunity, I would love to be at Super Strong Style 16 for progress. Yes, for sure. And there's so many amazing talents that actually get showcased, and they put the spotlight on some amazing talents at Super Strong Style for progress. But a final question for me. So, Matt Riddle... As you're going to go back to the autograph area, get your selfies and autographs with Matt Riddle when he leaves the stage here. But after you leave Manchester, what are you looking forward to, professionally, personally? What's next for Matt Riddle? Well, when I leave here, I mean, I haven't been home since last Wednesday, so I'm just excited to like sleep in my own bed. Yeah. That'll be cool. I have a new baby, so I'll probably hang out with little Matthew. Aww. I play a lot of video games, so probably do that. I don't know, work out, go tan, you know, maybe a little... Go tan. Yeah, maybe a little 420. I don't know. It might be 420 right now. We yeah. don't know. That's, that's about I it. I have to ask quickly, okay, so we have so many... Because we're a Comic-Con crowd, right? We're here for the fans, by the fans, Monopoly events. I have to ask, if you said you play video games, what are you playing right now? What are you liking? Well, right, right now, the hotness on the street is the Helldivers 2. Okay. That, that's a good one. But I'm big into survival horror. And uh, there's one called uh, The Island. Ooh. It's pretty good. Or The Forest. Ooh. Forest 2. Yeah. Sons of the Forest. Very cool. It's uh, pretty good. I love you that. should check it out. Any gamers in the house? <laughs> Hello Kitty Island Adventure. That's Aaron's favorite. We love it. Ladies and gentlemen, we are so thrilled and honored to have Matt Riddle here. Any final words for your fans, bro? Just one. Bro. Give it up, Manchester. Make some noise for the ultimate bro, Matt Riddle. Bro.